another circle theorem question. We've got PQRS. PQRS are points on a circle center O. So if they're points, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. Angle POQ. POQ is 120 degrees and angle OQS. OQS is 5 degrees. And also that QR, QR and SR are equal, making this triangle isosceles. Calculate angle SQR. So I first of all, if we're going to draw this in here, so angle PSQ is one half of 120, which is the angle at the circumference. So what we'll do, we're going to calculate this angle, angle here, PSQ which is 60 degrees. There's also going to mark on here the angle that we're going to try to find, which is this one here. Now the reflex angle, so the reflex angle here at the centre, we're going to need this, because what we're going to do, we're going to calculate all the angles in this quadrilateral here. It's going to be 360 minus 120, the reason being angles at a point, add up to 360, that gives me 240, and now that will allow me to calculate this angle here. Angle SPO is going to be 360 minus 60 minus 240 minus 5, which angles in a quadrilateral, which gives me 55 degrees. Right, let's just go over to this and go to here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to consider this triangle here. This triangle here is isosceles because these are equal radii. So therefore, I'm going to consider triangle POQ, there we go, highlight it. Angle OPQ, this one here, because the one we're interested in, is 180 minus 120 divided by 2. Because these two angles are the same. I saw a uh, triangle, which is 30 degrees. The reason I did this is that I now have the angle opposite this one here. And if you remember, I said that this was a cyclic quadrilateral. So just consider the cyclic quadrilateral, PQRS. This one, this is 55 plus 30. So angle OPS, so QPS, is going to be 55 plus 30, which is 85. And therefore angle SRQ is going to be 180 minus 85 opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral which is equal to 95 and now if this is equal to 95 I now have an isosceles triangle here consider triangle QRS which is that one it is isosceles the one in highlighted in blue therefore that angle and that angle are the same, therefore I can find the angle of one SQR by doing 180 minus this 195 divided by 2, which gives me an answer of 42.5. Again, quite a lot of steps to in order to get to the final answer. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.